what is going on everybody articulated ninja here i hope everybody is having a chill peaceful relaxing day and what i got for us to take a look at today is this she action figure by loose collector and executive replicas me guys the last time we got a she action figure was in 2004 it was this one by dark horse 2004 that is 20 years ago i have this action figure i was looking for it for this review i cannot find it but damn i feel so old knowing that i got this in 2004 and back then this was one of those weird like kind of pre-posed action figure her neck was twisted to the side like you know she had that good neck game oh lord her wrist was twisted to the side like she had that good wrist game you're a problem you're a real real problem this figure was crazy and i mean back then it looked amazing now in comparison to this one even in the box still right here i'm looking at the old she like give me a favor please get out of here but enough talking out with the old in with the new <laughs> all right so y'all know what time it is let's check out d ass on this action figure hey yo pause i'm talking about detail articulation accessories and size where's your mind at So in terms of detail, I do think this figure is really, really good. Just as far as the sculpt thing, the lines are actually creased into the figure. It's not like just painted on lines or anything like that. They look really nice. Like overall, it looks really nice. I feel like Loose Collector and Executive Replicas, they're slowly getting better at making the final product look just as good paint app and detail wise as the promotion images like they're slowly stepping it up not a hundred percent there yet but they are much closer than what they used to be and for me the important thing here is that this is either equal or better than their previous release so when i'm thinking about red sonia and vampirella this is right on par with that she has varying shades on her skin tone you can see like the flesh tone mixed with some pink it, it looks really good in hand not sure if the camera's doing a good job picking it up but overall when it comes to detail i like i like her a lot and i actually like her face without the makeup more than her face with the makeup but that's just a personal preference thing for me but overall in detail i like it i'm, I'm happy with the detail here Articulation. let's take a look at some of the poses i was able to get this action figure into round one fight So as you guys seen, majority of she poses that I would want to get her into or weapon wielding martial artist poses, I can actually get her into, which I'm I'm pretty happy about because for the most part, I mean, like I said, if I, if I was able to think of it or if I looked up a picture on Google, I was usually able to get her into those poses right at her upper waist. You can lightly heat the figure up, disconnect her upper body from her torso, and you can slide 
that uh, skirt piece off. Once you slide that red skirt piece off, you get more articulation and you get more access to see more of her curves, more of the sculpt, more of the paint and the detail. Yeah, I know I just wanted to see her more curvy. <laughs> yeah, boy. The she that I remember, especially in the comic books, and she didn't wear that skirt piece all the time. Like sometimes she had it, sometimes she didn't. But of course, growing up, I remember the times that she did it. So I'm I'm having minds without the skirt piece. I want her to show off all them badass curves. In terms of accessories, here's everything she comes with. She comes with some size, she comes with two swords, and a nice long spear and about three sets of hands. Also, she comes with an additional head sculpt. This makeup one comes on her, but the one without makeup is what's in the package. To me, the accessories are nice. I like all the weapons she comes with, but I do wish the weapons overall had more sculpting and more detail on them. Maybe like little things engraved and stuff like that. But if it was just blank, I guess this would be comic accurate. But the paint apps that they use for the silver and the metal do pop. They look really, really nice. So here she is scale wise next to some Valorverse action force figures as well as some G.I. Joe classified figures. Then we have her next to some female Spider-Man figures. Then we have her next to some bigger Spider-Man figures. And then we have her next to some of the biggest and the most fun action figures in my entire collection. Here we have her next to some other swordsmen or female shinobi type of figures that i got in recently that i absolutely love then we have her next to a jada toys chung lee and a sh figure arts cami and then we have her next to a storm collectibles ryu as well as the jada toys ryu and i guess the most important thing is how does she scale with other loose collector females that have been released so far and granted the vampirella is a kit bash for my sexy baroness overall i think her scale is good she fits in well with the other females in the line and then here's her scale with the ginormous loose collector big bad exclusive hide figure this guy is massive just to show how massive he is look at him next to a marvel legends hawk and then look at him next to a marvel legends hawk buster he's still bigger this guy is massive and his articulation is amazing and i really do like the size difference between these two it's just interesting to me to show that the same company can give you one but then also give you the other what a difference man that hide as well as this she figure are so opposite but still so beautiful together and then of course we have her next to thicky boy spider-man the only character brave enough to touch those cheeks So guys, in terms of DS for this action figure, detail, articulation, accessories, and size, I like this figure. I would recommend it to anybody that just wants a badass female ninja slash samurai martial artist type of action figure. I mean, that's how I'm going to use her. Just looking at her here with all of my G.I. Joe classified and she goes well with like any line she could fit in. So whether you want to throw in the Marvel Universe with the hand ninjas or whatever you want to put her in, she's, she looks like a really good action figure. I'm not so attached to the character of she like i said all the times i didn't really grow up reading comic books i just like to appreciate the art in comic books but i never really took the time to read them but i really like the way that she looks they did a good job at pulling her off of those comic book pages also another positive is i like the box art and i like that they're keeping all the box art basically the same this way if you do keep boxes if you are into that type of stuff these boxes do look nice together really nice so i like that and i appreciate that if i had to think of some negatives it would be that this figure any figure that's over 50 bucks to me i feel like the articulation should be more modern and updated so for example i do feel like she should have double hinged elbows and maybe a ball joint at the waist or a swivel at the waist but definitely double hinged elbows i mean she has double hinged knees why not have double hinged elbows in 2024 and i mainly feel like because of that price is why we should have updated articulation on figures like these but her not having double hinged elbows or stuff like that it just it doesn't really take away from the figure i was basically able to get her into all the poses that i wanted to i just know i could get her with more if she had a better ab crunch or waist or she had double hinged elbows with that being said i feel like loose collector and executive replicas are really stepping it up over time looking back at where they started versus where they're at now um i can definitely see an improvement remember the last time we got a d 
decent, a uh, just decent she figure was in 2004, man. Time flies, man. 20 years ago. I just, I, it's, it's hard for me to fathom or believe that, man. But shout out to all of my channel members. I appreciate you guys, man. Link in the description if you want to join the channel and get access to tons of videos and tons more content that I have behind the scenes, private videos, conversations, topics, posts, etc. So I definitely recommend this figure, especially if you're a fan of female martial artists. Like I feel like this is definitely a must have. And with the prices of everything nowadays, groceries, action figures, shit, air, air, the price of air is getting expensive nowadays. I just feel like, you know, we got to be more selective as collectors. So I try to be selective on my channel and not just get everything or purchase everything under the sun i can't even do that if i wanted to but i try to be selective and i don't try to show anything that i feel like might not be worth it but i definitely do feel like this was worth it because when's the next time we're gonna get another good she action figure figures like this are far and few in between but comment down below let me know how you're feeling about this action figure or just this video in general i hope you found it fun and entertaining it took me a while to do i hope everybody's having a nice chill day like i always say life is short try to appreciate it more than you complain about it peace